Salam guys, hope you are all doing very well. So today is a very different type of video and I feel as if I want to start doing more of these types of videos. So as you guys might have seen from the title, I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you guys my hijab journey. I feel as if it's important for me to share my journey with you guys and be honest about everything as part of my hijab journey. So starting off, I started wearing the hijab when I was around the age of seven. And at that time I was actually in Pakistan because we used to live in Pakistan for about five years. So yeah, around seven, I'd say yeah, seven was when I started wearing the headscarf. So as you guys know, probably at the age of seven, you don't really know why you're wearing the headscarf. Like I used to see my aunties, my mom, everyone around me in Pakistan especially, they were wearing a headscarf. And because Pakistan is, is a Muslim country, so it wasn't it wasn't weird wearing a headscarf to school or just wearing a headscarf in general at that age. I was told to wear the headscarf at that age. And to be honest, I didn't mind because I used to see all the adults in my family wearing it. People around me, like in Pakistan, people wear the headscarf, you know, it's normal because it is a Muslim country. So to me, it was like, it was exciting, you know, something new. I didn't really care that I was gonna never show my hair again. I was just excited as part of that journey. You're a child, so anything new you're excited about. So I was really excited. Like I enjoyed wearing the headscarf the whole of my dad's side they all wore the headscarf but my mom's side in pakistan they never really used to and that was the time where it kind of got a little bit difficult it was just people in general that never used to wear it and we used to wear it because we were so young it was it was just like at that time because we were compared sometimes um it was difficult because when you're when you're in an environment that everyone wears a hijab you feel so much more confident when you're in an environment that People don't really wear the headscarf it's so much more difficult and you feel as if like you're an outlier there and especially at a young age it was very difficult at that time i feel as if we weren't really explained as to what the the importance of hijab is and why we wear the headscarf we just wore it and i feel as if that's just like a learning curve for me especially like when i have kids in the future really explain as to why we wear the headscarf and the deeper meaning of it yeah that age it was i would say it was very difficult in the beginning it wasn't but then when you see other people and they start comparing they're like oh take that off i'm as a child you're like oh, no like this is and you feel like why why are they saying take it off is there something wrong like do i not look nice yeah you're just compared and you just yeah at that time it was difficult but other than that every time like my cousins also were wearing the headscarf at that time so it made me feel a little bit like better and it just shows that when you have people around you that start wearing the headscarf and that are wearing the headscarf you feel so much more confident because you're like the same and you guys can bounce off and do you know what i mean like you, you all just understand and i feel as if that's what made me feel a little bit better is that my cousins um they were wearing the headscarf as well so it was a it was just so much better and when i was eight i ended up coming back to the uk and this is where things kind of changed a bit more so when i came to the uk i was about eight and back then i feel as if that was like 2000 and i think that was like 2009 i can't remember the exact year but there wasn't many Muslims in my classroom. Out of 30 people, there was like one Muslim. I was in year four, year five. No one, no child used to be wearing the headscarf at that age. The whole school, I think there was probably one person in the whole school that was wearing the headscarf. You guys can probably get the idea of, let's see me come back from Pakistan. I haven't got friends, I don't know anyone. I'm starting a new school, I'm a hijabi. There's no one. Elsa wears a hijab in the school, hardly any Muslims, it was like a shock. And I feel as if back then people just want to be friends with you if you look pretty and if you look to the same as everyone else. And obviously I didn't look the same, I was wearing the headscarf and it was one of them pull on hijabs as well. I had no friends in primary school because of the hijab. Till the age of 10 for me, because my birthday's in August, I really struggled. I had no friends. At lunchtime, playtimes, I had no one to play with because I used to wear the headscarf and I remember even in assembly once there's this guy that used to sit behind me I was in year five and he was in year six and he just used to like pull the string out of my headscarf and he used to make me so self-conscious as well like why is he doing that is there something wrong with me you know um yeah that was a difficult time now the times have changed so much because in schools primary schools there's a lot more girls wearing it and you go to malls and stuff there's so many girls wearing it now so back then it was just so difficult so i was like dying to leave primary school and then when i left i was 10 um and then i started in an islamic school so that was like i was so excited about that because i know everyone 
before the headscarf there and it was just so much more like I felt comfortable because everyone wore the hijab around me and I felt like I was in the right place I feel as if the only place that I would struggle with hijab is in school this goes to show like in my whole journey every time I had people around me that wore the headscarf I would just feel so much more confident if you're a new hijabi guys and you want to start wearing the hijab try and look for friends and people around you that wear the headscarf that will that will just push you so much more and make you feel so much more confident that's just the way things are or even if you have friends that don't wear the headscarf but still push you it's just it's just so nice having people around around you like that and sometimes when you have a good support system around you you can easily like come home and talk to them about like how your day went and about a little bit about your hijabi struggles but i feel as if the support system we just didn't have in that sense where when i used to come home i never used to talk about the struggles i used to face and it's just like whenever you're struggling with something it's important to talk to people about it that can and it can honestly make things so much better for you okay so next i went to the islamic school so it was all going really good i was obviously in a good environment where everyone was wearing the hijab around me but the only thing is i ended up leaving that school just because the islamic side like the teaching was really good just the academic side so the english and maths and all that they weren't really pushing us as much on that side of things so ended up leaving that school and then fast forward i found placement in september so i was in year nine then there were girls wearing the headscarf but i just didn't feel confident in my hijab anymore like as like from the whole journey of mine i was so drained even though there were girls wearing it but my love for hijab like i didn't feel beautiful in my hijab and actually i just remembered in school we had to wear it was like part of the uniform we had to wear a pull-on headscarf so that did not help i already didn't feel i was going through that big bun phase as well and i obviously wasn't very confident but we also had to wear the pull-on headscarf every time we used to go to assembly our headscarves used to be checked and made sure that we were wearing the right one if we weren't i think we had to have yeah we had to have detention um so that used to stress me out so much because firstly when you're not confident in your hijab you want to style it your way so you feel a little bit more confident but yeah that was difficult i just felt so ugh every day and then you know you compare yourself to the girls that don't wear the headscarf and you're like i wish i wasn't wearing the headscarf you know because they had no issues whatsoever it was just us girls that wore the headscarf also at that time i was um looking up to a lot of influencers that were hijabis and i used to come home and copy hijab tutorials you know like the turban style that, that was like the thing back then but i used to like find my own way through my own hijab journey you know that was that towards like the end of high school so i was in year 11 around that time i literally used to come back home and i used to just sit there trying like so many hijab styles i think that this was from like year 11 till like first year college so i'll say two years i was looking up to hijab influencers and trying to find like my comfort in these in these girls that i used to follow and i used to feel so inspired because they used to carry the hijab in such a different unique way and then i started college um i went to college for i'd say like a month one month two months and then i started an apprenticeship in a school college time being a hijabi wasn't difficult because a lot of girls wore the headscarf i started kind of i started trying different styles where i would um show my hair and do like the strands coming out and all that so i tried so many different styles um just so i feel um so much more confident in my hijab than a lot of um i wouldn't say a lot two of my like my favorite content creators that i look up to used to look up to they ended up taking their hijab off which was a really big like shock to me because i'm sure a lot of girls used to look up to them um that's between them and allah um no judging but it was just like a shock to me for someone that used to look up to them girls so i stopped watching their content because i feel as if i couldn't relate as much anymore so yeah that was a difficult part in my journey i used to think so why have they taken it off i didn't have a reason i, I didn't i was just curious as to why they took their headscarf off and i'm sure a lot of girls felt the same way about it and wanted to know um so at that time i think i was i'd say like 17 i started an apprenticeship in a school so all the people all the people i was friends with i didn't really have the same friendship group anymore i used to work with like 30 40 year olds working in a school so everything changed from then onwards in 2019 i started doing so many different styles where um i would try a turban style my neck would be fully on show i tried so many different styles to try and make myself feel confident but with me it didn't make me feel confident like, i feel as if 
I'm disrespecting the hijab. Towards the end of 2019 is when COVID hit. And that's when I kind of started social media. I started doing like makeup tutorials and stuff for Instagram. And then I think I did like one hijab tutorial and it literally blew up. It just made me realize that people really liked the hijab tutorial videos and things like that. And from then on, I struggled in my hijab journey. I really struggled. I used to look up to girls that used to wear the headscarf and now they've taken the headscarf off. There wasn't like many, many girls doing social media back then. So I was like, do you know what? Let me kind of start social media and see where this takes me. Let me inspire girls. Um, and then through that journey, I kind of found true peace by wearing the headscarf. I'm not saying I'm perfect now. I'm still on my journey. But then I remember one day I put the undercap on and um, I started covering my hair. It looked so weird, but at the same time, it felt right. So I started doing like um, hijab styling there and I knew it was gonna inspire people out there. I can't remember the exact day, but I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of the first picture of me with my hair being covered. And I think I was wearing a jersey headscarf then. <laughs> yeah, I was. Because of being on social media and also wearing the headscarf and doing social media content creation, every single thing people would pick up on. And it was just like, I'm making this effort and not like I'm proving it to people, but it was just difficult because I know what my intentions were during the journey. And there were people who would just be like, oh, you need to cover your neck, this is not hijab. But I know where I started off and where I've come to. So it's just like, your journey is between you and Allah and don't care what people think because Allah only knows what is in your heart people will always pick on something like people will be like oh this isn't real hijab but then in your head you're like okay but i'm on this journey and inshallah i will get there you know like someone doesn't i'm sure niqabis or people that are fully covered they didn't just wake up one day and, be, and start put their hijab on niqab on i'm sure they went through a journey and i'm not saying i'm perfect now like i'm actually at the perfect level of my hijab journey like i'm still on my journey now but i feel so much more confident in my hijab right now i feel as if i have come so far alhamdulillah and i just love inspiring so many of you guys out there and i feel as if that that's really helped me in my journey i'm also going to do a video on tips on how to be confident um in your hijab uh, this is kind of like the end of this video that was like my hijab journey um like i said i am gonna record another video and share with you guys some tips on how to be confident in your hijab how to how to start wearing the hijab and things like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed do subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed the video and inshallah see you guys in my next video